Hi everyone, welcome to week two of the 2019 Search for the Next Tech Girl Superhero Competition. I'm Janine and I know I look a bit different this week because I am working from home so I'm enjoying that rather than being out at a conference in another state. So um, that's what us tech girls do. So where do we start? Maybe you've got lots of questions. Hopefully you've settled into week one last week. You've had a chance to say hi to your mentor. If not, please, please say hi as soon as you possibly can because they want to connect with you. Even if you don't have any questions yet, get to know them, ask them what they do in their job and just get to meet a new person and start the conversation. If you can please fill in our survey, if you haven't yet done that, we desperately need those last few from you. If you haven't, that will certainly help us to plan our program for the rest of this year and for next year. And week two, what are we doing this week? Okay, so one of the things on our portal you should see, we want you to start thinking about what sort of skills you have in your team. So what are each of you good at? What's your superpower? Now I know that every one of you have one and it's what makes you different to everyone else but what's that skill that you have? So there's a skills matrix you can fill out to work out where your strengths and weaknesses are and the idea is to surround yourself with people who can um, strengthen your weaknesses essentially. So we're not all good at everything and we're not supposed to be but that's why we have a team. What we're also doing is starting to brainstorm some ideas and some problems in our local communities. So if you can start to brainstorm, I'm sure you know that means write every idea down that you have. There's no bad ideas. Let's start getting them in a document and or on a whiteboard or whatever makes sense for you. And let's write down all the things that bug you. And it might be something on a personal level around, I don't exercise enough or I miss the bus all the time, which is true. Um, it could be, um, I should eat better. It might be, I should um, contact my grandparents more. It might be my grandfather can't read and that makes it really hard for him to fill out documents. It could be something around your school that um, there's a lot of litter, lost property is a problem. It could be he forgets to take your homework to school and get in trouble. It could be something wider in your community around homeless people, it, um, not having access to food and shelter. It could be something to do with your environment, uh, maybe the local parks. A whole range of things so go to our website and have a look at the app gallery you can see some previous um, teams that have participated or just google it you'll sure you'll find them um, and so have a look at other examples but let's not talk solutions yet let's focus just on problems right now so problems 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 write them all down as many as you can minimum 10 minimum um, as many as you can so that's your task for this week I won't keep you any longer. I said three minutes and I'm sticking to time this week. So good luck, everyone. Let us know if you have any questions. See you next week.